Good afternoon, Kev from Leeds Harmonica here again. I have just posted on the website for the first time in God knows how long. Um, and I posted a little review of this Honer HB52 Harp Blaster. Quite why it needs such a ridiculous cheesy name, I do not know. So I call it an HB52 because I don't want to cringe every time I talk about it. Um, way back... When this was first announced, I wrote a rather snotty little blog post about it, um, saying Honda's never made a good mic, even the ramps are rubbish, I haven't got much hope for this. But, I don't mind admitting when I'm wrong, um, and this is a fantastic microphone. I'm very, very impressed. Um, so all I'm going to do here is quickly... Do some. I'm going to do some quick sound samples. I don't really want to because I, I don't think there's much point. And I haven't really got the studio set up to, to make it work. But I know that someone's going to ask me, so I'm just going to do it quickly. Um, I am going to record through my harmonic ramp, which I haven't set up yet. And also through what I usually use, which is this uh, Lone Wolf Harp Attack into a Bose S1. Pro over there um, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to play some stock licks I'm going to play the same licks hopefully um, on the HB52 and compare that to my this is actually called a, a model 30 but it's a JT 30 style thing it's very old I think it's from the from the 40s but the element's much newer. Um, it's got a sure magnetic control, uh, sure controlled magnetic element in it, which I think is from the seventies. Maybe I can't remember. Um, and this JT thirty, which also has a controlled magnetic element in it, uh, but it's a bit older. Um, very very different sounding microphones these two. So. Um, just to briefly uh, recap my review of the Harp Blaster, I love this thing. I like it a lot better than the Bulletini. Um, the Bulletini for me is too small. This is a little bit bigger. I could deal with it being a little bit bigger still, to be quite honest, but it's very comfortable. It doesn't weigh much, but it feels solid. It's got a lovely heft to it. The, uh, the, the volume control there feels rocks just rock solid um there's a born pot in there um i don't know anything about electronics i assume it's a good one um absolutely fantastic the book the the volume control on the bulletinis worries me uh probably uh i'm worrying without reason but it doesn't feel the the the, the most sturdy and secure this is much better also um, I'm comparing it to the Bulletini because it's really the most obvious comparison. Um, I haven't got one here to play, uh, but I have played a few of them. Um, much less bass than the Bulletini. The Bulletini is famous for its bass response and it's got a fantastic bass response. Uh, too much for me, to be quite honest with you. I prefer this. I can still get bassy sounds by cupping. Um... It's a lot lighter than these two as well. And in fact, for some reason, this is really heavy. A lot heavier than that one. I don't know why. Maybe a heart, nerd can t uh, heart mic nerd can tell me. Um, anyway, I think this is a cracking little mic. Um, let's play it. Harp attack, Bose, no reverb or delay. <laughs> Thank you. 
Okay, so HB52 into the Alnico Magnet modded VHT Special 6. That's just a cheap Chinese amplifier, by the way. Um, it's been uh, modded for harmonic, be a bit more harp friendly. I forget what tubes I've got in there. I'm right on the edge of feedback. <laughs> So there you go. I don't know if that was particularly illuminating or interesting. Like I say, it's hardly properly scientific and you hear in this relatively cheap mic in the room and whatnot. Um, they all sound very, very different. We've got the cut. This has got really pronounced low mids. It's round and warm. Um, and when it breaks up, it doesn't get sort of, um, it hasn't got the high end breakup. Whereas this is ratty as can be, really sort of gritty and spitty. Great for some applications. But I've got to admit, I think, I think my favourite's the HB52. Um, just seems to sit in just the right place for me. Um, anyway, it's a cracking little mic. Can't go wrong. It's not even that expensive, considering. Um, Anyway, let me know what you think, and uh, I'll see you soon.